there's a good portion of this truther movement that is, wants to be with their community, um, but wants it to be a smooth transition, wants it to be easy, wants it to be, um, uh, you know, no, it, you know, it's that saying, no pain, no gain. That's from the gym, right? right. Working out. It, there, the spiritual journey is, there's pain with that. And what's the pain? The pain is letting go of the past letting go of things that you know that you that you no longer resonate with or you say that you don't want to be aligned with so the thing is is that so you're going to have to step away from the matrixy things if you don't want to live in the matrix anymore then you step away from matrixy things number two is you have to be okay to stepping into that great void and that's where you're going to face um your, what do they say, the demons. That's gonna when you're going to face your demons. It's going to be when you face your dark side. That's when the true healing uh, really starts, when you start stepping into this, like, void, this abyss, and you're like, oh, I'm all alone. Echo, echo, echo. You know, no one else is here. And then number three is you're going to be stepping into a place, eventually, you start aligning with people who are already on that other side who are um out of the matrix or as much as you can be or more so and are more of the activist people and that's another thing that is very frightening to people who are all the way over here on the left is like oh shit i don't want to be an activist because then i become a target and then people are watching me and then I'm in the spotlight, possibly. We're not saying for you to be a teacher or a healer like Blair, but there's different elements that come in. There's a lot of roles to play. The world's fucked up. 